Hello, Narts family. How are you? This is a, another edition of Car Talk with Neil. I am cruising across I-90 right now, and I thought it would be a good time to uh, touch base with everyone. How's everybody doing out there tonight? Um, hopefully you can hear me. I uh, see people jumping on here. I'm cruising across uh, I-90 right now, and I'm currently, I think I'm almost to Niagara Falls. Uh, I've missed some signs here, so I've been uh, paying attention to the scenery and everything, but uh, I have not uh, been paying attention to uh, what city I'm actually in right now, but I think I'm in uh, uh, somewhere, let's see what the... I'm in Leroy, New York, wherever the heck that is, but I think I'm getting close to Niagara Falls, so as I cruise across the country today, I thought it'd be a good time to check in with you because, you know, last week was quite a year. Um, I mean, it it was amazing. What's happening in the world is part crazy, but I wanted to add a little perspective here, and part of that is, in in, uh, perspective, is that we're all a community. Narts is a community. Our stores are an integral part of our community. For many of our customers and consigners, you know we're their safe place. We're the place that they can come and get away from it all. And, you know, to be there for your customers in some way, shape, or form is important during this time. It that can be that you're an online sounding board because your community and your community you needed to close for your community. It can be in your community because it's the right decision to still stay open for your staff and customers at this time. It can be that you're they can come in. It can be that they can shop. Whatever it is for your community, whatever the right decision is for your community at this time is the right thing to do. No one in this community of Narcs is going to chastise you for being open. No one's going to chastise you for closing. We're all here to give hugs and support of everyone as we navigate this unseen time. One of the things I was thinking about today is, I'm guessing if there's a few people listening to me right now, that a few of you are stressed. Is anyone stressed right now? Feel free to raise your hand if you are. I'm, I'm okay with it. I, I understand. People are stressed. People are stressed because they don't know what's happening, okay? And they're thinking too far ahead. Right now, don't try to plan this week, this the rest of this month. Try to plan today. What are you doing for today? That could change tomorrow. That's okay. It's okay to change right now. We're in a time where we are changing, where things are are changing and going to be changing. And that's okay. Don't overthink it by trying to plan the entire month, the entire year, the entire week. Right now, we're going through these times that are that are completely completely unchartered for any of us. None of us have ever been through anything like this. Okay, we will rebuild, we will be there stronger than before, but, and we will be there together because we're part of this community and we're part of the communities where our stores reside. But we have to get there, so don't overstress yourself by overthinking it. Yes, there's going to be cash flow issues for Police many Police reported ahead. Do you see them? Uh, you think they want cookie? They're, all of us are going to be working through that, okay? There's not an endless supply of it. So don't overthink it, but be honest about it and and be upfront with the people, your stakeholders that matter. So if you need to be cutting payroll to cut expenses, that's okay. Just be upfront with your staff that you're making decisions on a week or day by day basis. Be upfront with your landlords, have conversations. Anybody that you're gonna have those with, be feel it's always better to talk start talking about it now. Everybody is feeling the stress of it. It's okay. I mean my phone has been going nuts, bonkers, okay? I've been getting calls, emails, texts from everyone. Yesterday, I actually shut off. I turned off, I disconnected from the world, and the world is still here today. The sun is shining, the world is still here. Yes, there there is still lots of bad going on in the world right now, but it is still here. Um, 
the uncertainty comes from not knowing what's next. I thought about it today. You know, one of the rides that I love at Disney World is Space Mountain. And if none of you, if you haven't been on Space Mountain or know what Space Mountain is, it's a roller coaster in the dark, okay? You don't know when the next turn is coming. You don't know what's coming around the next bend. You're literally in the dark on a roller coaster. So it's not like a roller coaster where you can hang your feet out, where you see the next turn, where you see the next dip, okay? In what's happening right now in the world, we don't see the next turn. We don't see the next dip. We don't know what's around the next corner. You know, I, I'm an optimistic guy. I am very hopeful and optimistic that we will uh, continue. To, things will improve, and, and they will. It may not be tomorrow that they improve. It may not be the next day, but they will improve, and we will get through this, okay? The floodwaters will recede. This is this is like a, a flood. It's not, it's not, uh, it, the waters haven't receded yet. And, and we will get to the other side of this. If you are staying open, I recommend continuing to take merchandise because you will need the merchandise when, when you reopen and you want to have that flow and, and be that place. It's also that time if you are staying open to spruce up your store any way you can. Keep busy uh, making your store the best it can be to welcome your community back when you can. Like Melissa has been teaching us for years, do live videos, okay? Post things to your Facebook page. Talk to your customers. Um, let them know that you're there for them and and how they can communicate with you. You know, they're all going to get edgy. I mean, our and every community is doing something different, okay? Um, the town where my stores actually are are closing schools for two days as of right now this week. The next town over is closing for two weeks. The town on the other side is closing for one week. And in Boston, uh, in, Bo in the city of Boston, they're closing to the end of April, okay? They're, everybody's trying to make the best decision for their individual community, and that's what you need to do with your stores. So keep that in mind while you're doing it. Make the best decisions. We're trying to keep our staff uh, working, employed. I've also had a lot of questions about the congressional uh, aid package to business and such that has been uh, tossed around. That There's a lot of legislation going around Congress for. Uh, usually rushed legislation has been my experience in working with Congress is not usually very good legislation. And what I mean by that is, is, is it's well-intentioned, but it has lots of unintentional consequences. So, it, yes, this could be good in the long run, but there could be lots of things that are missing or unintended as a result of it. I'll, I should know more this week as it becomes final and be able to better explain it to you, but, but it looks like they are trying to put together some form of paid leave for your employees so that they can have paid time off, okay, which looks at this time to be paid for with a tax credit, which means you've got to pay it first, okay, so yes, good for employees, but it's tough for business because if you've got no money coming in and you've got to pay all your employees so they still get paid to eventually get a tax credit, that could be a challenge. Um, they're also looking at, at different... Um, money through the SBA and such to make available to businesses, but all that money, again, is loans. Uh, very good interest rates, very good terms, but will be loans that will have to be paid back. But, you know, the, the whole idea is to get all of America to the other side. One of my landlords called me the other day because he is, uh, this time of year, he spends every other week in Florida, and he's in Florida this week, and uh, he's just wanted to know what's really happening on the ground um, in in, uh, in central Massachusetts, wanted to know. And, um, you know, he's like, you know, the reality of, of the American economy is we all move money between each other, and to a great extent, that's true. Um, and uh, we need it all to keep moving, so... Um, doing our part to keep the economy moving. Uh, the reality is, it, as, as it hits, we have good days and bad days, or okay days. It'd be, the days wouldn't be so bad if it were the uh, beginning of January. Um, what, usually in March this time, we're really uh, knocking it out of the park. And, and that's just not happening now. So we'll probably do some things for our staff, like, uh, 
you know, change up our bonus program so they're not trying to hit sales goals that they're not going to hit right now um, because people are not out. But we'll come up with something creative to uh, incentivize them with. But but just keep communicating with your staff, keep communicating with um, your customers, your consigners, communicate with each other. You know, we're here to support. This isn't a game of I. We're all in this together. We are here together. We are here to be here for each other. And we're here to be supportive. You literally are not alone running this store. I know at times it feels it. You know, I'm traveling across I-90 tonight. You know, as I go across into the center of the country tonight. Um, you know, you need an elbow bump. Just holler. I'll stop by if you're off I-90 and I'll give you an elbow bump. I'll give you the support. I'll let you touch the pink calculator for good luck. <coughs> Excuse me. Dry dry throat, not not uh, not cold, not COVID. But, you know, if you are not feeling well, you should stay home. And you should encourage your staff to, and team to do it as well. Drinking some water there. So that should uh, help me out there as I'm, I'm talking here. But, you know, this is just one big giant hug to our community. Um, because you need your NARTS community more than ever. Your NARTS community needs you more than ever. Um, but people are out. People want to get out. Um, even in, in many communities, people still want to get out even though the schools are closed. And so that will be interesting this week as the start of schools closed here. Whether it will be like school vacation where the middle of the day we're slammed or whether it will be uh, we will be deserted. I don't know what it's going to bring. But that's why I'm not looking too far down the line either. I'm taking each day. I'm looking at today. Okay, because if I look at the rest of the week, the rest of the month, uh, April, you know, that's just too much. That that just brings stress on you. Don't, Don't bring the stress, okay? Families are going through all sorts of chaos. Kids have been sent home from school. Um... Kids are coming home from college. I mean, this is disrupting the dog's life, you know. Uh, normally can sleep in late now, and, and the kids are coming home from college because colleges are closing. Um, a lot of people are just trying to figure out. I know, I mean, my daughter is a senior in college this year. Uh, I have friends with kids that are seniors in high school. And, you know, it's all those activities, prom, other things that are normally great rites of passage in the spring of a senior year are all uh, getting canceled. So it's a lot for them to process and deal with, uh, and it's happened abruptly. So don't try to figure out forever. Figure out today. Figure out tomorrow. Uh, It's okay. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to share your concerns with this family uh, at NARTS. It's okay to share with your uh, customer family. Turn off the news. Limit yourself to 15 minutes a day. Be knowledgeable, but don't uh, don't uh, be buried in it. Um, and I urge you, you know, if you really want to know what's going on, read the footnotes and see where they're getting their science from when you're reading an article. Because uh, that's where the real truth is, is in a lot of the science, uh, not in uh, the articles. People are reposting all sorts of stuff with half-truths, with the best of intentions, but only half-truths. And it's just not a lot of good information. So take each day, wash your hands. If I haven't said it, wash your hands. We should wash our hands all the time. Um, turn on some comedy TV. Last night uh, we were watching a lot of Netflix comedy shows and just trying to forget the rest of the world for a little bit uh, because it's all very, very real. But take care of yourself. Stay healthy. You need an elbow bump on the way. I'm on I-90. I'm driving across the country uh, to the middle of the country tonight. It's a very quick uh, 24-hour trip I'll be doing. Uh, I'm there with you. I am here for you. All of the NARTS community is there for you. And you're not alone running this store. Take care, everybody. I'm there for you.